factors that influence evolution. What the heck does that mean? What did she just say? Pretty much it just means what is the how and the why that evolution occurs. We already know this, but how evolution happens is through the process called natural selection. Why evolution happens is because the environment has changed and the species now need to catch up. But one spot that we have not really looked at too much before is this idea of separation. Some form of species separation can really influence evolution happening. It can speed it up or make it more likely become separated in some way and they will continue to evolve on their own in order for evolution to occur. In order for evolution, the big change that we're talking about, end result, to actually take place, a few things kind of need to line up. Evolution doesn't always occur, but when certain situations kind of fall in line and they're all present at the right time, big changes can happen. For example, Variations. Darwin suggested that variations in a group or a species must already exist. In other words, there has to be different traits that are already there in the group. If the group is all the same trait, then there's nothing for natural selection to choose from. There has to be some rare and some not so rare traits already present before the environment changes. Of course, the environment has to change. If there's no change in the environment, there's no reason to evolve. We're good as we are, no thanks, staying right here. But if the environment changes and you are no longer the most equipped for it, there's going to be some changes occurring to that species. You yourself may not fix, may not ever fit in, but someone in your species will. Um, Environment changing can also affect the speed of evolution because if it's a large environmental change, a drastic or a very quick one out of a short amount of time, well, then that's going to speed up evolution. Quick jazz, oh, I don't know, that pesky global warming. We are changing this environment quickly. We are changing the atmosphere. We are changing the temperature. We are causing things to shift at an astronomical rate, way faster than any natural phenomenon would ever do. So in our lifetime, we may just be pushing evolution way faster than normal. Finally, natural selection. In order for evolution to have occurred, natural selection must have favored a new or different trait. If natural selection continued to favor the majority even after the environment changed, well, then the, no evolution will occur. The animals will still look like the majority that it was before. But if there is a shift in majority, look at the picture again. The green was the original and the blue are the new. If the original no longer is the majority and it dies, we are now favoring new traits.